All right, let's give this a chance. We're going live here from Scotland. This is my last night. And guess what, guys? Uh, it's me, Kayvon, your favorite comedian coming at you. Uh, reason I wanted to go live. I came to Scotland three days ago. Many of you know I'm half Persian. Very few of you know that I'm also half Scottish. So it was only fitting that I came to Edinburgh, or Edinburgh, if you've never been here before, but it's Edinburgh, at the Fringe Festival. What is a Fringe Festival? It's where the weirdest comedians uh, from all around the world come. Some are really well known, some are unknown, and we all mingle at the festival. So I wanted to show that I'm half Persian uh, and half Scottish, so I shaved my chest for the occasion. I'm going to unveil that for you when we go live today. But uh, that's gonna happen in just a little bit. First, I have to announce some new comedy dates. Oxnard, California, Naples, Florida, South Dakota, and Las Vegas. And then there's other show dates there, so don't worry about it. But uh, the second thing I want to tell you about was on the way to these shows, I put a duffel bag on the back of my motorcycle and I rode to the airport. The duffel bag had t-shirts and DVDs that I sell in it. Uh, I'm driving to the airport, you know, brrr, it's five in the morning. This dude pulls up next to me in a suburban and starts shouting at me, yeah, yeah. And when you ride a motorcycle, you're out in the elements. So when somebody's yelling at you, shouting stuff, usually it's like, did you cut me off back there? Or why did you go between the cars? I drive pretty safe, but you never know what somebody's yelling at you in this. So I'm like, what, what? And he's like, your duffel bag is open on the back of your motorcycle. Vroom. I was like, oh shit. So I pull over. Believe it or not, my duffel bag, I thought I secured it, it opened on the freeway. And I lost about 40 to 50 t-shirts plus some DVDs out of that duffel bag. So if you're driving down the 405 freeway in Los Angeles, California, and you happen to run over a bunch of Kayvon Comedy t-shirts, if you could pick those up, that'd be great. Uh, hopefully they've only been run over a few million times and I could still resell them like a, like a true Persian at a discounted price. Uh, the other thing I was thinking is maybe they're not still on the freeway. Maybe you're going to go look and say, Kayvon, they're not here. That We, we have a lot of uh, migrant and vagrant and vagabonds and homeless in L.A. Maybe they put on the shirts and they're wearing them all around Los Angeles right now. What if I come home from Scotland and I'm super famous because I have these 45 walking billboards all over Southern California? And, of course, some of them are in Portland by now and some in Seattle. So I'm probably a lot more famous than I've ever been in Seattle, Portland, LA, Vegas, and San Diego because there's 45 homeless people wearing my t-shirts just walking around. Look for me in the beach cities, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be in Santa Monica, Hermosa. I'm sure I'm a big name by now. The other thing is uh, I did a show in San Francisco. If you've never been to San Francisco, this is the tech capital of the world. You know, LA is Silicon Valley. San Fran, Silicon Valley, computers, smart, nerdy types. So I was in San Francisco in January, and all my smart, nerdy friends told me to buy Bitcoins. Oh, Kayvon, you got to buy Bitcoins. Bitcoins are the future. Dude, this is our one chance, this generation, to have Bitcoins. So what did I do? I put some money in Bitcoins. I'm not smart. They are the smart ones. I bought Bitcoin in January. If you haven't followed it, uh, maybe you should buy now because it went down every single month until now. So I yelled at them in San Francisco. I yelled at those idiots. I said, hey, last time I was here, you told me to buy Bitcoin. The reason I'm back in August, I have to do another show to help pay for the last time I visited you. No more advice from the Silicon Valley people. In fact, why don't you guys tell me what to do? I'll do the opposite so I don't have to work so damn hard. San Francisco, not happy with you. You're supposed to be smarter than me. I'm a comedian. You're the, uh, you're the investor types. Okay, moving right along. Uh, I then jumped on a flight, San Fran to Chicago, Chicago to Edinburgh. Three people missed their flight in first class. They put me in the first class seat. So there I was kicking back, pajamas on, eating soup with shrimp in it. Made it to Edinburgh. Great people, very clean city. Let me tell you, one of the cleanest, nicest, great people. Uh, we had a fantastic time. And the Fringe Festival, I met some friend, old friends I've seen, I haven't seen in years, and some new friends. 
and we had a show tonight, and seven Persians showed up in this little room. Because I'll tell you, some of the shows are in big, huge theaters. Ours, you had to go into the theater, then go out the back door, then down to the bathroom, go through a small door in the toilet, go up the stairs, go into this area under the... There was a log. You had to go under the log, and then you were in this thing called the bunker. But we sold that thing out. Why did we sell out my show? Because there was 40 chairs in the room, and we had 35 people. That sold out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but these uh, Iranian people came. They liked the show, and they're going to bring me for a bigger show, possibly in February. So I am glad I came to Scotland. UK, you rock. Okay. The final thing is that I want to share with you, and then we'll go into the, the unveiling. And by the way, put in the uh, comments your favorite, where you're from, your city, your country, or if you know anyone in South Dakota, Naples, Florida, or Oxnard, California. That's what I need to know. Where are you from, and do you know anyone from those regions? The reason is, that's where I'm going next. We want to keep packing the clubs out so they keep bringing me back. Okay, the final thing is I went to the bathroom in Scotland, you guys. I go in the bathroom. Check this out. There was a machine. Women, ladies, you don't know this. In a men's bathroom, we have a machine. You put, uh, here it's a pound. You put a coin, a pound coin, which is like a dollar fifty. You put a pound and you pull the lever of the machine. Now, I think ladies have these machines. And what do they have in your machines, ladies? You have one of those, you know, those little um, machines in the women's bathroom. It probably has, what, tampons, sanitary products, perfumes. This was a condom machine in Scotland. Never seen that before in Scotland. And you're not going to believe me. Guess what kind of condoms they had? Whiskey flavored condoms. Is that not Scottish or not? And they were called Mick. They're called Mick condoms. That's very hilarious to me. Mick condoms. Whiskey flavored. And uh, so I told my buddy, I'm like, dude, you're not going to believe this. They have whiskey flavored condoms in the bathrooms in here. This is crazy. And he's like, oh, my God, do they taste like legit? I'm like, I don't know, dude. I didn't taste it. I'm just looking at the sign. By the way, you're not supposed to know what a condom tastes like if you're, well, okay, I forgot. There's all different generations and millennials and LGBTQ, RSTUVWX. So I apologize. Some of you know. But straight guys don't know what condoms taste like, typically. I could be wrong. If you say, Kayvon, you're wrong, please share your story in the comments below, and we'll read it, share with the group why you know exactly why, what a condom tastes like. Can't wait to hear those personal stories of yours, and uh, you can expand my horizons. You'll say, Kayvon, actually, I do know. Here's what happened, and I, I will read that as well. Uh, so I did put a pound in the machine. I took a video of it. The machine was broken. So we may never know what a whiskey flavored condom tastes like unless you make your own at home. But that was my story I thought I would share with you live from Edinburgh, Scotland. We've got whiskey flavored condoms here, but the machine was empty, which means they were a big salary, god damn it. All right, here we go. It is time to read the comments and see what you guys were saying behind my back. Oh, and here's what I did for uh, walking around. I've been walking around um, Scotland, and a way to advertise your show, you got to stand out. So I shaved half my chest. So check this out. Look at that. People say, what, what's your chest doing? I go, it's because I'm half Persian. Do you see that? I don't know if you can tell, because uh, this is the Persian half. That's the Scottish half. If you don't know, I'm half Persian, half Scottish. This is the Moezi side. This is the McVickers right here. Freedom! All right. So there you have it, folks. I promised you I'd unveil the half Persian, half Scottish side. Moezi McVicker. Are you glad you stuck around to the end? All right, let's read the comments. Here we go. And I'll give you guys a little shout out. I want to give a shout out to Taich Kuhn is the person's name. T-A-L-K-H and the last name is K-H-O-O-N. K-H-O-O-N. Taich Kuhn. Hello, Taich Kuhn. Nice to meet you. Someone named Ipsono Sin. These are some very interesting names, guys. Says Ola. Uh, a realtor named Olia says, Kayvon, you're 100% handsome. That is a nice compliment. It is late here. It's um, 2 in the morning. I'm probably talking too loud. And I appreciate you saying that even with these big Persian dark circles under my eyes. But hey, that's what happens when you stay up till 2 a.m. 
I'm buying tickets to come see you. Thank you. Can't wait to see you at the show. And uh, here we go. You're known in Albania already, Kayvon. Well, thank you for saying that. I guess I'm known in Albania, Miss Buashpita or Mr. Buashpita. I don't know if I'm well known, but at least one person knows about me out there. We will build from there. Next up, Daddy's Little Girl says hello. That could be Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump's daughter, Ivanka. We don't know. Um, Sarah Beth says, you are silly, Kayvon. Thank you. Thank you. I, I have to be slightly silly. Comedians have to have that silly aspect. That's how we get into the right frame of mind to write our jokes. Next up, we have Susan Guadalajara, who says, heart. It's like smiley faces, but with hearts for the eyes. And it's Beirut says, come back to Arizona. I will come back to Arizona probably February or March when my new book comes out. Kayvon, you should have kept the half and half look. Well, Koya Amber, I did keep the half and half. It's just slowly going down. So right now the half and half is right there. And soon the half and half will be really low. Maybe uh, I'll show you that next time. Next, we have Sydney. Uh, Susan Guagliardo says, when are you coming back to Sydney? Well, I was just there two months ago. We should let Sydney simmer a little bit, see if they want me back. But I would love to return. And here we go. Marie Povax says, oh my God. It sounds like you get your condoms from McDonald's. Well, you know what, Mary Povax? That would be a happy meal, now wouldn't it? Boom, boom, psh. Condoms from McDonald's, part of a happy meal. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. Next, come to New York. Thank you for saying come to New York. I will be there November 7th, and uh, stay tuned for the announcement on that. I will uh, make a big splash in about three weeks, but. For now, keep that under your hat a little bit. Only tell your closest of friends. Hey, buddy, I am from Tehran. It's 5 in the morning here. Well, it's 2 in the morning here in Scotland, so we're not too far from each other. Three-hour time difference. Hello, hello. Nick Flight says, I'm the whitest Iranian in the world. Well, I can't wait. Post your picture, Nick, in the comments or on my Instagram, and let's see how white you really are. Mm-hmm. Ali Kale says, I love you, Kayvon, and you're 100% Persian with your attitude and your confidence. Aw, you guys are so sweet. Moving right along. These are too many comments. Toronto, not coming to Toronto yet. Um, and do you speak Persian? No, I don't speak Persian. I speak only English and the other language of the United States, which is Spanish. So, lo siento. But me llamo is Kayvon, and yo necesito... Eat breakfast. I don't remember that word. I haven't spoke Spanish in so long. Well, we're in Scotland here. Nobody else speaks. I did one joke about Mexicans. People in Scotland like, well, what the hell is that? We haven't got those here yet. So um, they had no idea what the Mexican joke was all about. Good to know for next time when I come. And we have some more comments here. Cody Dustin says, shout out to you, Kayvon. Don't forget to sign all your t-shirts, pants, and your underwear just in case you lose them again on the highway. That's not a bad idea. Guys, from now on, my new marketing campaign is sign my name on the shirts, put my email and web address on the back, and lose them on the freeway so the homeless can spread the good word of your favorite comedian, Kayvon. If you're in Edinburgh, I hope you're enjoying the country. It's the first time in two years that I'm not there. Helen Lynch, I am enjoying your country. Thank you for having me. Clean, safe, beautiful swimming pool right by my hotel. And the hotel I'm in is not a hotel. I'm in a dorm room. I don't know how I found this on Airbnb. It said it's close. Everything else was sold out. I'm in a college campus dorm room. Like a little, like a girl used to probably sleep in this room. She's away right now. That'd be weird if she was here. She's away for summer break. I'm in her room. And uh, yeah, I gotta get out of here before she gets back. But uh, yeah, it's about 125 euro a night, uh, pounds a night. Same thing. Euros, pounds, pretty similar, I think, right now. Uh, I think the euro and the pounds are like a dollar fifty. I could be wrong. Correct me below if I'm wrong. So I'm just saying, like, if it's a hundred um, pounds, it's like a hundred and fifty American dollars. Am I close? I'll let my UK friends tell me if I got that on the no on the on the nose or not. Um, hi, my name is Afsane. I'm in Minneapolis. Your show is awesome, and you are a genius. 
oh, I should just log off there. No one's going to give me those kind of lies in a row like that ever again. Thank you, Afsaneh. Damn it, Gam. I appreciate it. Gracias. And um, mahalo. These are all the languages, guys. All right. That's all I want to share with you guys. Um, to be honest, I'm going to go hit up a few more bathrooms right now. See if I can get my hands on some whiskey-flavored condoms. And then find some girls who like a little Glenfiddich. You know what I mean? Huh? Little uh, Jack Daniels. <laughs> you can Jack Daniels, all right. All right. Someone who's got a little bit of a drinking problem at 3 a.m. in Scotland. Shouldn't be too hard to find. You can swing a dead cat and hit somebody like that out here in Scotland. So I'm going to go look for those. I'm posting the video of the condom machine under this or on my Instagram or on my YouTube. So you can see I'm not lying. I didn't make this up to be funny. Comedy comes from truth, ladies and gentlemen. And we shared some truth together tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Tomorrow I'm in a place near Albany, New York. So I'll be doing a show there on Saturday night. Then I'm going to do a birthday party in San Diego for a kid going off to college. And then I'm getting ready for Oxnard. Brea, Las Vegas, South Dakota, New York City. And we might throw a few more cities in because uh, that's not enough. We need more. Oh, Kuala Lumpur. Get ready, Asia. I'm coming your way. I've made the decision. Kuala Lumpur and Singapore. It's all happening in the next three months. Bye, everybody. See you later.